Hi guys, we're at the Pilbara Brooks and I've met, uh, what's your name, sorry? Dorothy. Dorothy and? Don. Don. And we're, we're just discussing what's happening within the water environment and and the fact that uh, what they've been experiencing over the nine years since they've been living in the local area. So just let them tell you, you know, their experiences and, and what they're witnessing at the moment. Well, at this time of the year, normally it is very uh, wet underfoot. And now we can walk across a top line and it's completely dry. And within the brooks, it's in the nature reserve itself, some of the water hose levels are so low, there's no water for the birds. So it's very sad to see. And it's quite worrying, really, with the number of houses that they're building in the area. Taking, you know, taking the water. But it, mm. it's certainly uh, pretty dry. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. So so I, I think this this brings us to an interesting point because... I, I work with the developers and the local community um, to, to address water neutrality and, and particularly what, what is quite interesting because I, I look at it from a very strong environmental ethos. Uh, we need to build new homes to get affordable homes. Well, that's one tick. But we also need to protect the environment, which is the other question. And so what we have been trying to do and working with developers is saying, okay, if you're going to have a development, you need to make it the most water efficient development. And hence we are pushing developers to reduce their water consumption per person from the official numbers to about 85 liters per person per day so that they recycle their own water. Um, we are also encouraging schools and local residents to, to reduce their water consumption by fitting water efficient fittings for them on behalf of developers so that we do not undermine or overmine the water that's already being used um, from the aquifers because we have water neutrality which means that we don't we can't take more water than what's already being used because the environment is already suffering so what we're what we're doing we're trying to make this work for all parties one for the environment if we if we take the water that's already being used make it much more efficient for the existing resident and schools and commercial buildings and then on the other side the developers need to make their developments much more efficient eight five liters per person per day then it means that we'll be left with some water that goes back into the environment. And we need to keep on replicating this. We can't mm. not, not do this. And um, it's important for our environment. It's important for the things that we love. And it's important for enjoying these walks. Yes. Thank you very yes. much. It's been You're nice welcome. meeting you guys. Yes. Yes.